Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is the fourth video in our series. We're going to talk about the gear in the room. We, we've talked in the last video about the subwoofers, but in this video we're going to walk through uh, the gear that we use. Uh, we use uh, Emotiva's processor uh, and amplifier, and then we just have a, a DVD player for, for source. Uh, we have obviously access to YouTube uh, through the DVD player, but I want to walk through some of the settings on the processor and talk a little bit about those because they're really critical in maximizing the performance in the room, especially in the lower frequencies. So let's take a look at the processor and we'll scan through some of the modes and you can get a, a feel for what, what's going on there. Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look at the processor. I think we can get you a good demonstration here. Uh, there's the amplifier at the bottom, processor top, DVD player. You can see it at the top there. So let's zoom in on the processor. Oh, over here, temperature. I'm always monitoring the temperature between units. You know, we run this gear constantly, so I want to make sure that we're not getting things overheated when they're stacked. But here's what we got in terms of different systems to work with. So let's look at the processing modes. We got auto, surround. That's a, a very popular one, distributes the energy hour. Then we have all stereo. Then we have a, a, another program there, more surround, direct, stereo, auto, surround. Okay, but here's the really neat thing about this processor. So we obviously we can control the center gain. And remember, we've sp split the center channel into two left center and right center. So you can control the gain down to half dB, which is really good because the center channel speakers are the closest to you, right? So distance the energy travels is going to be less than the, the other speakers that are left and right channel. But here's the, my favorite feature of the whole processor, the sub. You can lower and raise gain by a half a dB. And that is an amazing feature to have. I think all processors should have that. Because you have the ability to control the gain of, you know, our left and right subs. And, you know, it varies across the board. I'll be up 2, 3 dB in some songs. I'll be down maybe 6, 7 dB. Pink Floyd is a real heavy low-end uh, stuff. So you, you might be down here, you know, minus 6, minus 7 dB. But the point is you have the control. It'll run on its own, too, if you don't stop it. And then come back. And then we have, obviously, the surrounds. We're pushing them up in this example. And then we have even a height channel, which we don't have speakers connected to that. We will in our new facility. We'll do a full-blown Dolby Atmos room in that facility. But I wanted to give you some uh, background on this processor. So it's really quite amazing. You know, we got, we got the different modes. These are all processing programs. That's probably the one we use the most, the surround, direct stereo. Nice thing about it is I can go back and forth between surround and stereo. So you can really compare resolution, you know, with the multiple channel formats, resolution is not going to be high, although our goal in this room is to get the resolution as high as we can. So you can go back and forth between the modes and you can definitely compare, you know, stereo with surround, surround with stereo. And you can really get a good handle on the differences in resolution, you know, that you're up against. So it's quite a quite a nice uh, little rig. It's not that expensive. I, I don't know, probably seven, eight thousand, I think, for the pair, something like that. And time and temperature there. So it gives you a good idea. But you know, back to that subwoofer. I just can't emphasize enough how critical that feature is. And, I hope all processors have this. I'm not sure. This is the only one I've, I have experience with, but man, it's a great feature. I mean, half dB. And you can actually, you know, you can, our room it has that kind of resolution. So you can, you know, actually hear the, the, the gains that you're making or the attenuation that you're putting into the system. So that's our gear. That's what we use here. And then, you know, obviously it's, Another tool that, that we have here is, that's our RTA. We constantly monitor 
everything that's going on in the room and, and the changes that we make in it. And we'll talk about that in our response section too. So I wanted to go through this and, and give you a good idea of the gear and you know what we're doing there. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.